What if I told you that I thought half of the country could probably kill off all of their lawn spaces and then replace those same grass spaces with a new grass type, one that requires 80% less water per week than traditional lawns or traditional turf grass options. This would make irrigation throughout the season almost completely unnecessary for the vast majority of people around the country. This same grass type can self-repair through stoloniferous lateral growth. It requires very little to no fertilization. It's very soft, pleasant to the touch, very fine textured. This same grass type can withstand the high dry heat of the southwest, but can also thrive in the extreme cold of the, the far north. Let's call it northern Montana and it can handle just about any soil type or consistency. Got a sandy loam, got a heavy clay, it all works. Not only that, but this grass type also has very minimal issues with disease, uh, fungal threats, or insect threats, making fungicide use and insecticide use kind of a non-issue, or let's call it an unnecessary hassle. Basically, this grass type doesn't like to be heavily shaded, and it doesn't like an excess of water. So for a lot of the country, this will work just fine. Maybe not necessarily for a lot of places on the East Coast or heavily forested areas, but I bet probably half of the people in this country could probably get away using this grass type or growing this grass type. Basically, the majority of people living in the center of this country or on the West Coast could get away with making this change and switching over to basically a very low maintenance grass for their lawns, even in periods of extreme heat and drought. With my daughter playing on the lawn behind me, I'll continue. Some of you don't want to mow the grass. Lots of people don't like mowing the grass. There's a good number of people that literally want no mow lawns. This grass type can also handle a no-mo scenario. Although it can be maintained just like any other lawn that you see right here, kind of in that like one and a half to four inch range with a rotary mower, depending on your own preferences. This turf variety can also be grown and pretty much never mowed. Like maybe you mow it a couple times a year to knock seed heads off, but it'll max out kind of in the six to eight inch range, never really getting bushy to the point where you don't want to walk around in it. Now, I firmly believe that in the coming years, this grass type is going to become one of the dominant grass types in our country. Over the next generation, I would expect this grass type to capture market share every single year, simply because traditional lawns are becoming harder and harder to manage and maintain. We want lawns. I don't know if you can see my daughter down here. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> we want lawns. They're great for family life, but if we can't keep them green, we can't water them, then we need to make a change. And this is a way to do that. And what's crazy about this turf variety that I'm talking to you about, I'm keeping a little bit of a secret here, is it's native to our country. It's the only turf grass in the entire world that is native to North America. It was born to live here. It's designed to thrive here. This is what nature intends for our location. This grass type has been growing in North America for tens of thousands of years. And it even sustained the bison roaming the Great Plains for who knows how long. What I'm talking about here is buffalo grass. Is that buffalo grass? Yeah, it's buffalo grass. What do you think about it? Why don't you feel it? Oh yeah. Does it feel nice? Yeah. Yeah, would you would you play in that? Yeah. Yeah, if we put a slip and slide on it? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And I'm not just talking about it. I'm actually starting to grow it. I've been growing it in pots all year, and I'm starting to grow it on my hill. This is the expansion of my yard that I've been working on in the 2022 season. So far, I'm really enjoying the challenges of getting buffalo grass to establish, which is not easy. You seed it in high heat, it thrives, it does most of its growing during the middle of the summer, and it doesn't come in as a dense stand like many cool season grasses do. Even some warm season grasses come in as a very dense stand. With buffalo grass, you're literally putting seeds, just a few seeds down per square foot, and letting those seeds slowly establish and then spread laterally. It takes time. The first section of my hill yard was seeded 
on the 3rd of July. 10 days later, I started getting the earliest germination. And over the course of an entire month after that, roughly five weeks after that, it has expanded out and thickened up to what we see now. I expect that area to continue to thicken over the next couple months before the fall season truly starts getting cold. Right now I like what I see and currently I expect to be growing this grass in just about any lawn that I own for many years to come, if not the rest of my life. It just seems like the right thing to do. Over the years, I do hope to become an ambassador to this grass type. Unless something like unforeseeable happens and I just suddenly stop liking it, I hope to be a big part in making this grass the dominant grass type, turf type, lawn type in America over the coming years, over the coming generations. Now I'm using this video literally to say why I'm growing buffalo grass and why it is a good option for many people. But I'm doing it in Cliff Notes style. I could go into great depth on all of these subtopics, but I'm going to reserve a lot of that detail for videos down the road and other resources that I'm planning. I'm also going to be using this video as the springboard for all of the buffalo grass content that I produce. Here on this channel, I'm making a playlist for all of the buffalo grass content that I produce. It's going to be linked in the end screen, which will eventually be up here in the corner. I'll also link to that playlist down in the description, the video description down below. But additionally, I'm also producing a full resource available for free over on the Turf Mechanic website, which I'm also going to link to down in the description below. The resource is going to be all about growing and maintaining buffalo grass in a lawn scenario, in, in your lawn, the backyard, your front yard. It's going to be complete with Q&A tutorials, how-tos, maintenance schedules, and whatever else I find it important to make in the future. If you have any interest in converting your own lawn into a buffalo grass lawn, or maybe you're just interested in learning about this new, old turf grass variety, then make sure to take a look at this playlist linked up here in the corner and the resource on the website linked in the description below. And if you do have a buffalo grass lawn already, if you've been growing it for a while, I would love it if you threw your thoughts on the grass type into the comments below, because there's a lot of people out there still in research mode and your information can help them. 